Hello YouTube, this is a response to the alleged con artist and alleged faith healer Adam Miller who made a response to Miss Stephanie Renee Gutormson, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, known on YouTube via her channel Think Steftically, which I will link to below. Now, right out of the gate, I want to state that I have not met either of these people. Um, I have never seen either of them in person, and while I have conversed a bit with both of them via Facebook, I am technically not good friends with either of them, and yes, I really have no dog in the fight here. This is just a sort of legal situation that has piqued my interest, and I want to have um, my commentary to that, so here is Adam Miller's response to Stephanie's video where she claimed he was not able to perform the miraculous healing ability that he claims to be able to do. Hello everyone, Adam Miller here, and this video is in response to Think Stephically, aka Joel Guttermson, or otherwise known as Stephanie. Okay, so the first problem that I see initially is that Mr. Miller attempts to claim that Miss Gatormson is a guy named Joel. Anyone who's actually seen a picture of Stephanie knows that they are not the same people. Stephanie's female. I understand that Stephanie is a transgender woman, but the key word here is woman. As Stephanie is female, evidenced by the fact that her name is Stephanie, she is thus not Joel Gatormson. She may have at one point been known as Joel Gatormson, but according to an interview on Atheist Analysis Season 4, Episode 29, which I will also link down below, Stephanie explains that all pertinent legal documentation recognizes her as a female named Stephanie. Therefore, attempting to claim that Stephanie is also known as Joel is an incorrect statement. She is not known as Joel. She's known as Stephanie. Uh, I am not aware of there being anyone named Joel Gatormson. Uh, you are misattributing her to an identity that does not exist, or at least does not exist any longer which could be seen as either a defamation of Stephanie's character or you explaining that you intend to sue someone else who happens to be named Joel Gatormson. I really don't know which. That's a little confusing. I don't know exactly who you're talking about, but good luck to you then because, like I said, I don't know who Joel Gatormson is. Basically, the entire video that she has put out uh, on the airwaves is a complete lie. She's never had anything to do with my work or my clients in any way. We have uh, hired our lawyers and we are going to seek the maximum penalty by law for uh, copyright issues and many other criminal uh, actions that this individual has taken toward a very holy work. Yeah, see, I saw Stephanie's video, and she never claimed that she has had anything to do with your work or your clients. And for that matter, sir, I'm not interested in how holy you believe your work is. Stephanie is free under Title 17 of the U.S. Law Code, Section 107 Fair Use, to use your video in part, especially when for the purposes of commentary or education. That's what Stephanie did, and that's what I'm doing now, too. You can't claim that she stole your copyrighted video, because I'm pretty sure that according to the YouTube Terms of Service, any content you create and place in the public viewership of the world ceases to be your content and becomes at least partially owned by YouTube and its parent company, Google. Um... I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. The point is, sir, you put this video out publicly for the world to see, as Stephanie did, as I do, as millions of other YouTubers do. You 
give up any right to its privacy thereupon and are simultaneously subjecting your content to public scrutiny. That's kinda how the whole internet thing works. She is also part of a large organization that goes around and pretty much trashes uh, anybody and everybody uh, that has anything to do with uh, either spiritualism or helping other individuals, um, anything to do with helping anybody, really. What organization is Stephanie a part of that gets in the way of spiritualism, helping individuals, or anything to do with helping anybody, really, to directly quote you? She works for the Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science, according to their website, which I will also link down below. The mission of this organization is to, uh, quote, realize Richard's vision and remove the influence of religion in science education and public policy and eliminate the stigma that surrounds atheism and non-belief, end quote. So all they want to do is keep religion and science separate academically. What about that says that they're trying to stop you from helping people or that they're getting in the way of spiritualism? They're not trying to ban religion. The mission statement of the Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science says nothing about them working to eradicate religion from the human experience. Nothing says that they are working to remove religion from the world. They're not trying to do that. Stephanie's not trying to do that. Richard Dawkins is not trying to do that. They want to remove the stigma that surrounds being an atheist, remove the stigma that surrounds not having a belief in a god or, or in a spiritual system or anything like that. And, and furthermore, sir, to claim that the RDFRS is trying to stop you from helping people is slander, unless you have some documentation which proves that Richard or Stephanie or anybody and the RDFRS is trying to shut you down. If you can't prove that in court, you just slandered an entire charity organization for which they would have documented proof of your slander, and that I have chosen to mirror your video, which is also fair use, by the way, is a documented proof of this slander entirely. They can use it to sue you if they feel so inclined. I'm not saying they should sue you, but they could if they wanted to, because you're claiming that the Hardy FRS is trying to stop you, which I don't see them attempting to do. So that's slander. Um, she also has absolutely no education whatsoever uh, in anything metaphysically and has never been anywhere near our work personally whatsoever and these assumptions uh, are not going to go unnoticed and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do what it takes uh, in order to catch up with this individual and uh, prosecute uh, again to the fullest extent of the law also my clients do have a few things to say about this subject on this video okay so far, I have not seen anything that would give you legal recourse to sue Stephanie. And as for this portion of your video where your clients speak, I'm, I'm not interested in their testimony. It's personal anecdotes and not hard evidence. So I don't have any reason to believe their testimony and neither does anyone else. And as far as talking slow or the various other sarcastic remarks made, uh by this Stephanie aka Joel and there you go talking about Joel again I don't know who Joel is nobody knows who Joel is Joel Gatormson does not exist and I want everybody to understand that we're not going to just stop here we are going to continue to prosecute anybody who decides they're going to attack the work so I want to make that completely crystal clear Furthermore, uh, you know, one of the things that happened recently was one of our clients that has had a serious cancer 
and issues with balance and memory and very, very serious problems. Um, she actually, and her name is Robin, she addressed this Stephanie uh, about uh, what was wrong uh, with her. And when she contacted uh, Stephanie about uh, her problem, Stephanie's response was that that was cute. I'm sorry, but cancer is not cute in any way and uh, these kinds of remarks and sarcasm about very serious is issues are going to be taken up in court uh, by all of my clients, you know, as well as myself. I'm also not going to, in the interest of my legal safety, include most of the client testimonies that you include in the original video, because I am assuming, I have every reason to assume, that you obtained their legal permission to put their testimonies into your video, which would go into the public eye. Um, so even if they wanted to sue me for using this tiny portion of their testimony that I'm about to use, I don't really see where they have any legal cause to do that. When you put their testimonies out there, you are subjecting their testimonies to public scrutiny. And if they can't handle that, then they shouldn't have uh, enabled you to, to put their testimonies into your video. But there is this portion that I said I was going to use because it's very interesting to me. And this is what I want to talk about now. One of your clients is claiming that Stephanie is a guy. Here's the little clip there. And she never I mean, once uh, states herself what she is or who she is. She just wants to bash everything. Yeah, she's not, she's not actually showing anything for the community either by saying, you know, she, she was a guy or, you know, anything like that. So she's not really being who she is. She's being, you know, she's lying about that. Yeah. Uh, we are going to take care of the issue. Uh, we apologize to everybody for uh, this so-called Stephanie's behavior, and we're going to rectify the situation as soon as possible. Thanks for listening. Okay, so Stephanie is not a guy, legally or physically, or any way that matters. Stephanie's not a guy, but for your client to claim that Stephanie is um, lying about being a woman and that she's still a guy or whatever, that's a slander of Stephanie's character and a false representation of who Stephanie is as an American citizen. Because I'm going to mirror your video, this is essentially part of any proof that Stephanie might need to show in court that both you and at least one of your clients is attempting to slander the character of Stephanie by claiming that she is male when she is in fact legally and physically not male. But another thing that is interesting to me is that your clients support your claims of having a miraculous healing power and that their testimony is, 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 is proof of your claim that you're a healer of, of the physical body. And I'm going to also link down below the description page for the YouTube account Eve Miller 44 where it says, and I quote, Adam Miller is only a witness to the great and holy energy that can be present in a session. Okay? So if your clients are substantiating these claims, they are claiming that you have some sort of um, holy energy powers. Okay. But also, interestingly enough, in the next few sentences, you completely contradict that claim. I quote, this work is not related to the medical field in any way and is for entertainment purposes only. This is a very, very important distinction, Mr. Miller, because if this Eve Miller 44 channel is, is admitting that um, 
you have no medical training, that your work is not related to the medical field and is for entertainment purposes only, then it can be reasonably assumed, and your video is proof of that, that not only you, but also your clients are making a false statement. If you are claiming that you have access to some kind of holy energy, if they are claiming that you have access to some kind of holy energy, you just admitted that you don't. So, if your stuff really is for entertainment purposes only, and you have no relation to the medical field at all, Stephanie's claim that you are not a holy energy magic healer guy is a correct and valid claim. Your assumption that you would just be able to sue her because she said some things that you don't like is, is not valid recourse to sue anyone. If you are not a medical healer, if you are not a magical healer of any kind, then the assertion that you have no medical training and that you have no ability to heal anyone of any afflictions that they might have is a valid assertion. You have just proven Stephanie's video to be correct. You have just proven yourself to not be telling the truth about this holy energy you claim to work with. But you know what? Let's just give you, really quick, let's just give you the benefit of the doubt, Mr. Miller. Let's say that somehow you do have this holy energy power. Great. Because you know what? I'm interested in receiving your holy power. Um, I have cerebral palsy, spastic diplegic cerebral palsy to be more specific. I've had it my entire life. I cannot walk without the aid of a walker. Um, I, I, I am limited in my physical ability as to my legs and my right arm and hand are, are quite, um, limited in flexibility and strength and range of motion due to the spastic muscle tension that is that is afflicting my right arm and hand. If, if, if you claim to be a holy energy healer of sorts, I am interested in your services. And if you want to claim in court that you are indeed a holy energy healer, then you are going to have to prove this in court, in front of a judge. So... Therefore, I am going to suggest something, Mr. Miller. I'm going to suggest that if you would be willing to recoup my travel and hotel expenses, I will travel to wherever it is, whatever state, whatever court of law, where you are suing Ms. Gutormson, and I will submit myself, I will, I will pay you to heal me of my spastic diplegic cerebral palsy. If you can do that, sir, we, 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 will, we will record it for all to see. There will be physical witnesses. A jury will be involved. It will, we can even take this recording and I'll spread it across the internet. We can, we can have this broadcasted live via national television where you can heal me of my disability. And, and if, if we can do that, that would be great. I will support you. I will spread the word about you. I will refer people to your work. And you will be raking in millions, sir. And, and, and interestingly enough, you will be putting hospitals out of business. Because if you have this miraculous healing power, then what need is there for medical science? I mean, really. So, um, if you will recoup my expenses, I will attend court with you where you are suing Miss Gutormson, and you can heal me. And if you can, I will sue her with you, because you will have proven your ability to heal with uh, holy energy, and you will have proven Miss Gutormson a liar.
if you can heal me of my disability. And I will be so, so cooperative in, in that. I would love to be healed of my disability. That would be so great. I would enjoy that so much. You would revolutionize my entire life. You would change everything about my life for me. You would make everything a thousand times better if you could heal me of my affliction. So I ask that you take me up on this offer so that you can heal me. And I will help you sue Miss Gutormson. But, sir, if you for some reason cannot uh, heal me of, of my disability, I, maybe the maybe the holy energy doesn't work on like a Tuesday afternoon at like 3 p.m. or something. Maybe the maybe the holy energy needs like a, a work break, like a lunch break during the day, or you know I don't know. Maybe your holy energy healing only works on like the third Tuesday of every March. I don't know, but. If, if you can't heal me, sir, um, I'm going to sue you because this is a capitalistic democracy. I paid you for a service that you were supposed to provide me with, and you, for whatever reason, failed to deliver on that promise. Maybe, maybe the holy energies were on the fritz that day. I don't know. Because in America, you get what you pay for. And if you pay for it, and you don't get it, then somebody has to get sued. So, you, you know, but really that shouldn't even bother you, because as a holy healer, uh, I, I, I am taking you for your word that you have this, this healing ability. So you should have no problem uh, healing me of my cerebral palsy. Um, I can be reached via my YouTube channel. You can get in contact with me, and you can arrange to cover my travel expenses and my hotel expenses so that we can go to whatever city this is going to happen in, and we can do this thing. I, 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 it's going to be great. So um, please contact me, Mr. Miller. Um, I would love to be healed. Thank you very much. Johnny Ringo out.